Hi guys, my name is Chedexi and welcome to the Truth Podcast. On today's episode, I want to talk about something that, you know, I just, I've been meaning to talk about for a while and I feel like it's just my opinion. That is why I'm doing a solo podcast today and I'm going to put it up and allow you guys to have your own opinion about it. And today I'm just going to talk about go a little bit about Christianity or religion, you know, and I'm going to talk about a um, topic I titled just where you are, just where you are. So I feel like a lot of Christians are still practicing the Old Testament. We are past the Old Testament. Right now we're in the New Testament. And that is why Jesus actually came. Jesus came to give us what? The New Testament came to give us light. Before, in the Old Testament, if you commit sin, if you sin against God, you have to kill a, um, a she- ram, sorry, sheep. You have to use the blood of the sheep to, you know, plead for your forgiveness. And you don't even have the right to go straight to God. You have to use that to you know, kill it and, you know, give it to the priest to go and beg for, you know, your sin to God. But in the New Testament, the Bible said he tore the veil from the bottom to the top. The veil of grace from the bottom to the top so that all men can come to God. And guess what? That veil is not in any mountain. That veil is not in any church. That veil is not in any sacred place. That veil is even in your toilet. It's in your room. It's everywhere. Meaning, anywhere you are, you bow your head or kneel down or stand up, whatever position you want to take, the veil is Jesus. Once you just mention in the name of Jesus, that veil is being torn apart. Meaning you have the access to enter into the throne of grace and request for whatever it is that you want to request. And God has already been there waiting for you. That is the New Testament. So now we don't have to go and pay for atonement of our sin. (laughs) The grace is so sufficient. If you would ask me, I feel like God is intentional about the movement he is carrying out in our generation because our generation is already spoiled. I mean, we all know that. But I feel like God has, yes, God doesn't compromise his standard. God doesn't change his word. But I feel like God is now using the foolish things of the word to confirm the wise. Meaning if you said it's here you want he will not lose you. He said he, he lives. He lives 99 souls to go and chase after one soul that lost their way. So I feel like a lot of Christians are beginning to do too much with this religion thing. Some people are beginning to take it too extreme. I feel like God right now is intentional. If you are saying, oh, it must be in the church, in a, na, 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 that means everybody in the church is saved. God is not looking for the saved to be saved. God is looking for people that are not saved to be saved. I feel like if Jesus had come in this generation, I feel, I feel like you will see him in the club. That's what I feel. I feel like you will see him in the club trying to convince people to just have a day, a time, a moment with him. I feel like you will see him in all those places that, or in the group of those friends that, you know, they say, oh, don't be um, equally yoked with unbelievers. Yes, that is what the Bible says. But I mean, we are trying to win unbelievers to Christ. Unbelievers are in the streets. Most of them are not in the church. You got to bring them to church. It is not your duty to arrest a soul. It is solely Holy Spirit's duty to arrest a soul. It is nobody's duty to arrest a soul. But it's our duty to bring that soul forward for the Holy Spirit to even touch. Yes. So I see people saying, oh, don't do this. If you wear trousers, you are a sinner. If you do this, you don't know. Why are you there? Dun, 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 dun. Mm-mm-mm. 
we are just i feel like we are taking this religion thing to the extreme because if jesus had come this period jesus will go to those places and try to have them hear his conversation even if it's for two minutes i feel like god is intentional about the people he used guess what the reason why it feels like secular music people tame it it feels like it is so demon demonized and satanic is because of this same thing christians remove their hands from things that they feel like it's they did not mention jesus provided they did not mention jesus it is not for god and you are forgetting that the bible said <laughs> all things we are made through me and without me nothing was made that was made jesus god holy spirit created invented invested in music so now let me tell you i feel like music has its parts its parts its role to play not everybody will sing spirit fill me lord not everybody will sing um jesus thank you everybody we are all called for different purposes but we will channel all those souls listening to one direction and it is not just about what you sing or say it is how you live your life as well there are people that are called to motivate to sing motivational songs there are people that are called to lift up souls but because we always shy away from you know we call it things of the world but guess what you are in the world we call it oh it's things of the world why not christians also in the world that want to sing about some things that are happening in the world some things that are happening in nigeria in africa in the world sing it and when people when you see the bible says draw all men to me it is not your business how he will save them the instruction is to draw them to him he will be the one that will save them it is the duty solely the duty of the holy spirit to save anybody so it's not your business on that your business is to bring them to me so many people that are coming to church every day they are not even saved that's another topic let me not just even contribute just divert <laughs> that's another topic on their on its own the reason why you barely see christians in politics today is because they feel like oh politics is a dirty game politics is a dirty profession politics is demonic politics is satanic but the church is suffering it the most because of ignorance because we feel like oh you, you uh, they know they call jesus for house of rep but they pray you can go there as a christian and live a christ-like life and your constituency know that you are the one representing god here we don't have enough people to make a change in the judicial level in house of rep in all the places that matter because what christians shy away even in the movie industry christians shy away for it that uh, it is too carnal it is too carnal Come on, you have to go there and take the Holy Spirit there with you and allow the Holy Spirit to do the magic. It is his job. Don't rip him of his job. Take him to the places where he can work. Now with everything that seems good, we have target demonic because what? They don't mention Jesus there. Who would mention Jesus when you that is supposed to mention Jesus shied away from it? You that is so christianic, you that is the world best christian, that even wrote the Jesus on your head. You refuse to be in politics. You refuse to act movie. You refuse to sing music. You refuse to be in every sport you refuse. You refuse to be in everything that matters. Then the people that have two head. Yes, now they get two head. Are now there. You expect them to come and be the one that will call Jesus for you. Jesus gave you the right, gave you everything to be there but you shy away from him, from from it and you said oh that one is secular oh no that one is secular that one is a canal and you have the right to come and say it is demonic 
the people that are supposed to soak it with Jesus are in the church praying to Jesus. And Jesus is saying, the dynamic has changed. We got to wake up. Yes, the dynamic has changed. We got to wake up. The reason why we're saying, oh, music industry is demonic. Movie industry is demonic. Politics is demonic. Sports is demonic. It's because the only people that had the mind to go there are the people that don't even care about whatever it is you're saying. They just want to make a living. They have a big dream and want to actualize it. You that have all it takes, you, you have God, you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit, you have big dream, you have goals, you have brain. You shy away from all those things. And intentionally or unintentionally, consciously or, or subconsciously, you are suffering from the decision you made just because you, you think that all Christians must end up as pastors or work in the church. God is intentional about the movement he is doing right now. He is so intentional about the movement. He is dispatching his apostles in the world. We are still in the world. We're no longer, as in, we've not gotten to heaven yet. When we get to heaven, we will all be in one gathering. As long as we exist on earth, we got to spread. Be in the banking industry. Today we are complaining, ah, bankers are hoarding money. The people that are not supposed to hold money did not be did not agree to go to the banking industry. You're saying, oh, politicians are wicked. The people that are not wicked shied away from politics. Oh, musicians are praying, are singing satanic song. You that are supposed to sing motivational song. You only you are only in the church clapping. It's alive. Amen. You think God called you and your voice to only go and sing and clap is alive. Your instrument is big enough to convert thousands of millions of people. Turn them to him. He, as the Holy Spirit, will do the job of arresting their souls. You guys, I had a different, I started with a different topic, but the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you this. See, I'm a businesswoman first before anything. I have no business with doing podcasts. I don't get business to sit down here, they talk anything. But I have realized that God is calling all of us right where we are in our convenient place. Right where we are to go out. If it is your mouth, you can use, speak. If it is your hand, you can use, use it. If it is your body, if it is your music, if it is your voice, if it is your brain, use it wherever you are. Just make sure that when people encounter you, they encounter Christ in you. That is what, that is the intention that God is. In fact, that is the plan now. God has seen that the devil has really, really taken over the youth. Now he is now intentional about taking back the charge. Because from the beginning, he's the one that gifted us with all of these things. It's so sad that God will give us so much gifts, but we limit it because we don't want to be tagged demonic. Why? Because you feel like 90% of the people in the industry or in that um, sphere is demonic or is cultist or they, sorry, or they are cultist. How do we, how do we break the circle if we keep shying away from it? We keep saying, oh, eh, every Christian mother, I don't want my son to be in military. Oh. So what? What is happening? The other religion and the non-believers are infiltrating the army, the police force, the never, never, the Navy, the Air Force. They are infiltrating everywhere. Hmm. And we're here claiming Christians. We're here claiming Christians. We're shying away from the gifts of God just because we don't want to be what? Mixed. You can actually be in a gathering and the whole world, the whole, every one of them is doing something and you will say you, you don't resonate with it. Like you can't do it. Nobody is going to force you. And if your life is working, the only thing it attracts is people will keep looking at. I want to know, what, what, this, which God is this guy serving? That his things are always easy. As in, why, 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 why is his own ways different? We got to wake up. 
Because God is intentional about his movements. You got to be intentional about the giftings of God. And let me tell you something. The gift of the Lord is without repentance. My mom always said this. The gifts of the Lord is repentance. The gift of the Lord is without repentance, meaning an unbeliever can still have a gift and use it. Any religion can have a gift and use it. You think you are the only one that is gifted? No, you are not the only one. If you say you are too shy to be in that industry, an unbeliever will take it and blow them. You will be their fan. You, you will pay for their show. You will pay tickets for their show. Since you are too shy or too scared to be in the fair, to be in that sphere, to be in that industry. I'm just here to tell you guys that just in case you don't understand what's happening, what is happening right now is that God is intentional about the movement he's doing. He's using people right where they are. Exactly where they are. Yes. Yes. We want to talk about prostitute on the road. You want to talk about the girl standing? Yes. If you see a girl that is standing on the road, you feel like she's too fine to stand on the road. Instead of allowing a wrong person pick her, pick her up. Take her to that place. Give her money. Advise her. Preach to her. Give her money first. Pay for her time. That's what they do. They pay for their time. Pay for her time. Preach to her. Tell her that what did she graduate with? assist her. But no, I want you to judge. We are so good with judgment, with, with judging. Who gave you the right to be a judge over anybody? Over, over a fellow mortal like you? This change that we are all seeking for and talking about, it starts with us. It starts with first using the gifts that God has given you. What did you do with it? What are you doing with it? You just go to church and be singing, it's alive, amen, and come back and go about your business, and your boss is an unbeliever, and he's making billions, and paying you change, and you are there, comfortable with that life, because he's bold enough to have that, to, be, to face that fear that you cannot fear, that you cannot face. You guys, me, I've, I've picked my call. Since God is saying, I am intentional about this movement, Everybody use what you can and just all I need you to do is push the attention to me. I will take it from there. I will arrest their souls. All you need, push the attention. So stand up from your comfortable bed and look for your calling and don't be scared of where it is. If you're calling, if God, if you're seeing it, if God wants you to be in the military, be. If God wants you to be in the armed force, be. If God wants you to be a pilot or in the air force, be. If God wants you to be in music, whether Christ, whether gospel or secular, go there and make a change. Nobody say, man, you go there, go there, say, Satan is God. No. Go and sing motivational song that will change people's life and idea of life. That will give people hope. Go and sing song that will give people hope. Some people, just one song will give them hope again. If it's podcast that God says you should talk, let people have, be encouraged with life and know that they are not the only one facing problems. If it's, if it's in Hollywood, if it's in Hollywood, if it's in the movie industry, go there because why? We follow these actors and actresses. We follow their personal page to see who they really are. When people follow your page, let them see God. Let them see Jesus reflecting your life. Don't shy away from your destiny because you feel like the majority of them are demonic. Don't you dare shy away from your destiny. I'm just going to end here because everybody carry your cross. Me. I've carried my own. I've carried my own. I am a businesswoman. First things first. It's how to make money. <laughs> but even in the midst of all of those things, God still tell me, don't forget your mic. I mean, I gave you voice. I gave you mouth. I gave you sense. Talk. I gave you sense. I gave you experiences for a reason. All the things you have experienced in life, I was preparing you for a time as this. This is game time. Let's go. I'm just going to end here. Thank you for 
coming on the show. If you're listening, thank you for tuning in and listening. If you're watching, thank you for watching to this point. Don't forget to follow us on all streaming platforms, The Truth Pod. Don't, don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms, The Truth Pod. And yes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.